Hello Hard Video Order Stuff, welcome back. For you today, I'm gonna to be giving you my tips on how to light, expose, and grade an interview style setup and show you how to go from this to this. It's gonna be a good one, people. I know you're gonna love it. It's slightly more tricky than the setup for the last lighting video I did on lighting a low-key scene, which I'll link below if you're interested, but it's arguably a far more useful style to know as it's far more commonly used lighting arrangement. Um, there are many ways of doing this, so I'll run through a few options from a very simple setup to something more elaborate, and hopefully you'll find some useful tidbits and just enjoy the ride. As ever, I would encourage you to comment below with your experiences because you know that I love that we can collaborate and help each other to learn. So, let's dive in. So this is how I started and I'm using just very standard settings on my camera, nothing special. I've got the horrible house lights on which give you that kind of top-down horrible shadows over the face. Plus it's not very interesting, there's nothing to make our subject pop and that's what we really want. We want to catch light in the eyes, we want to give her a hair light. We just want her to look great. So let's turn the house lights off and turn on our key light, which I've got positioned just on camera left. It's a big light with lots of diffusion and you can see that beautiful roll off across our subject's face. Notice this gives us that amazing looking catch light in her eyes that I was looking for. Bear in mind, you don't need to go out and spend loads of money on a big light and a big soft box for this. You'll be amazed by the results you can get with just a cheap LED and an umbrella setup. I'll link some gear below, so definitely check there for my recommendations. Next, we're gonna add a fill light on camera right just to fill in a few of the shadows on her face. You'll definitely wanna play around with the brightness of the fill light just to get it absolutely spot on. In this example, you can see we've still got a little bit of the shadow from our key light and our fill light is just filling them in a tiny bit. All you need here is either a bounce or if you want more control, you can use an LED light with a tiny bit of diffusion. Either way, you can do this on an extremely small budget. Next, we're gonna add a hair light and we're gonna add that behind our talent on camera right. In this case, I'm using a small budget spotlight with a Fresnel front element, so it's not diffused, but that's what I'm after. I really love the way that that direct light gives us lots of contrast and gives our subject almost a silhouette. So I am really happy with this lighting setup. I think it looks great. The only thing is, I think the background looks dull and this is when I bring out the fairy lights. I am a big fan of fairy lights. They're super cheap and you can get them in both warm and cool color temperatures. So you can basically make them suit any environment that you shoot in. Don't get me wrong, they're not a substitute for a great looking background, but when you've only got a dull looking background to work with, they'll do in a pinch. So I'm super chuffed with this. I really like the way it looks. However, I just want to give it the last final touch, which is to give it the halve stamp. And to do this, I'm going to switch over to log. I know this is totally unnecessary in a scene like this, but I just love all of that dynamic range you get with log. So if your camera doesn't have log, don't worry, you don't need to do this. Finally, I want to add my grade and make it really pop and BAM! I just love this look. You've got that amazing catch light, the beautiful roll off on her skin, and that super contrasty hair light. It just pops. And the best thing about this is you can achieve it on such little budget. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I've loved making this video for you. And if you're still in the mood for some dope videos about video, I'll pop a few interesting ones over here. And if you're not subscribed, just hit this blob just around this area. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you next time, guys.